Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I have my design project for my porch prints and I am in love with this project. So this idea, I saw Paula Lemon make some, but she mentioned Lori Girl on the Ridge is the one that um, she saw it from. And of course it's paper bags and it's a loaded paper bags and I am in love with this project. If you know me, you know I love working with paper bags. I've done journals, I've made, um, you know, different little booklets with paper bags. I will link those videos below if you wanted to see that. But let me take you through this one. All the links will be in the description box below of what I used. But look how cute, right? So I can't, I can totally imagine sending this to friends or uh, pen pal, you know, snail mail, a little birthday gift filled with goodies for somebody. Oh my gosh, I'm like in love with this idea. So the first little pocket is in the front and then you flip it down and this one I've added, just covered kind of the back of it. So in the front here, I added one of the um, digitals, the little um, coin envelopes and then the um, digitals I used, I will link the names below, but it, one of them has to do with uh, postcards and letters and I'm just, I love that theme right now. So you can see how this was all folded to look like a little envelope. And then it tucked it into the actual coin envelope that was in the kit. I just love it. And all these sets with my porch prints just, oh my gosh, they coordinate so well together. So I just really love how that turned out. So this pocket here again has a little postcard and then a little envelope again and I love her faux um, wax seals oh my gosh I just love how they look they look so real so anyways they just I just love how that turned out and of course I'm loading it back up so you can just kind of see um, you know how everything is placed in there so the back here I added a pocket and I will be showing you how to quickly put this together at the end of the video, just in case. I've got a little tuck spot here, and then the larger pocket here has another um, letter. You know, you can write your own note on it. I love the idea of even having these on your desk, just ready to go with, you know, different elements that you like to use. So here, another postcard. I just tucked it at the bottom here. And then this top one here has two more pieces again with another envelope. And I love these beautiful wildflower digitals. They're just beautiful and just the colors and oh, it's just, I love it. I can't say enough about it. And then of course this one, I folded it up like a little letter. And I think I've seen Paula do this. I don't know who started it, but I love the idea of it. Like the little faux envelopes. I think it was Paula that started this. Hi Paula, if you're watching. I get so excited when I see one of her videos. Okay, so this one here is um, uh, Tim Holtz and I just made a little tuck spot in the back. And now the paper bags I've used, you can find them at J9 Scraps, I'll link that below. This one is, I have a tutorial on how to do this as well and I love how quickly this is done. So here it's just like a little flip out booklet and then you have all these little bits and pieces you can tuck and it's all made out of one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, my friends. So I'll link that tutorial below if you haven't seen it. Not my original idea, but I'm just in love with how these turned out. You can journal in, inside the uh, little flip ups. And then on the inside, I just kind of, you know, made the little tuck spots and then I added a little piece so you can tuck something in. Look at this gorgeous digital, right? Okay, so I will link that below. There is a tutorial for this little bit here. And you see how the back, it has the pocket as well. So you've got lots of little places to add more ephemera or pieces to send in snail mail. I absolutely love this little flip booklet. And then this is one of the large tags from another My Porch Prints kit. And then I loved the colors here, so I thought I would add them. And I just made another little like flip up little pocket and just added some additional ephemera. And the digitals are all from my porch prints, of course. Love, love, love it. And um, I 
kind of like this paper because I like how it looks from the back as well and you'll see what I, why I picked it in a in a minute so again I'm just going to load it so you can see what it ends up looking like but of course you can add anything you want to these and that's what I love about it it's a different take on a loaded paper bag because it's a bunch of loaded paper bags um, and you can make them of course with anything you can use envelopes as well oh, it's the ideas are endless and then the back here another little tuck spot and that is it my friend so let me show you how to quickly put something like this together I'm just going to show you um, how I actually put the bags together but you can make them your own way of course you don't have to make them how I'm going to show you but just to give you an idea how this came together I absolutely love this I'll definitely be making more Okay, so I have a variety of paper bags. Now, most of these bags you can find on J9 Scraps. She's on Etsy. And for my Canadian friends, she's in Canada, so you're going to love the fact that shipping is not going to be crazy. So you can just see here, it just comes up with so many different little pockets. Uh, it all really depends on how you put your paper bags together. But for the one I'm showing you here, I'm going to use these three. So I know the first two, Janine has these in her shop, um, but um, if I wanted to use the one with the, um, the advertisements, that also would have looked nice. But I wanted to show you similar to one, you know, the one that I've already made. So this will be your, um, your main bag, the one that kind of holds everything together. The smaller little polka dot bag, I'm just sort of playing around with the sizes. And again, this is all up to you. You can make this one taller in the front or shorter in the front. Um, it all depends on how you fold them together. And then this glass glassine one, I'm going to put it in the back and I want it to just peek out a little bit from this side. Now to attach them together, um, we stitch them together because I think that's probably the easiest way to connect them. I guess you could glue the bottoms to the bottoms, but I just decided to take them to my sewing machine. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay, and now I'm just going to paper clip them together so that I can put them through my machine. But like I said, you can use any paper bags that you have. I know Paula added some envelopes to, to the ones she was sharing as well, which I think was such a great idea. So I'm just showing you where I'm going to stitch it. And of course, I'm just going to make sure that they stay together. So I'll get my paper clips and add them on. I hope you're enjoying the share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Um, and um, I hope you make some because they're so fun to make. And like I said, it's just paper bags that you need to kind of make the base of this, as you can see. So I'm going to run it through my machine and then I'm going to come back and show you what that looks like when it's finished. Okay, so you see my stitch right through the center and I'm really liking how that came out. So, like I said, you could probably glue each bottom of the paper bags together, but um, I think stitching them is much easier. Now, I'm going to cut off just the tops here of the back of the paper bags to make some additional pockets. I'm just going to show you here. This is now a pocket. I cut the little top off of this one. So now this one is another little pocket. Of course, you've got your big bag there. And then this one here, I've also cut the top, but I think I need to cut a little more there. So basically it's just making different little pockets with the way that you fold your paper bags. And what I love about it as well is you can, can cover up the paper bags with you know your different paper that you have. And so little boo-boos like this one are not a big deal because when you cover it up with your um, digitals or your papers, then you're not going to see the edge that I cut off a little bit wonky there okay so I think I have a little bit of time so I'm going to show you quickly how I have added some of the decorations to the um, layered pockets here the paper bag pockets so I hope you enjoy again it's super easy and I'm just using the supplies that I have on hand primarily the digital kits and leftover paper bits and stuff that I had so for the front, because I'm going to um, cover it up a little bit with, you know, more embellishing, I just wanted to use a little bit of color just to cover up the polka dots. 
you don't have to do this you can just leave them as they are but um, I like to kind of cover up what you will see on the front of the paper bags so you can see that I've just cut a little you know bit of um, paper to fit now I'm rethinking initially I said you could glue these um, paper bags together but I don't think you can um, because then the bags would actually be open themselves if you know what I mean so I think the only way to attach these so far is by stitching them but if you come up with a different way um, let me know because that would be also good to know for others if they don't have a sewing machine to stitch them on um, so now for this little piece here um, I'm just going to cut it up and then because um, this is just one of the ones that I had left left over from the um, the printable here but if you um, you know you can add anything you want again I'm just using this as decoration just to give it a nice little look the one you saw here had the um, the little saying you belong um, among the wildflowers so here I'm just showing you that I don't want the white to, to kind of peek through because these bags you do fold down so you can see the backs of them so I'm just going to back this piece with um, another piece of the leftover digitals and again um, I think for this project I like the digital papers because if I were to use cardstock I think it would be too thick and then it would make the paper bags a little too stiff if you know what I mean so at least with this paper the bags have a little bit of flexibility still and you can kind of move them around but I think if it was cardstock it would just be I don't know I, I think it would be a little bit um, tougher to kind of load up the pockets because it would just make them too stiff so anyways that's my thoughts on that so here you just see that I am just quickly cutting up this little bit and then I'm going to be adding it to the front with maybe that um, a little bit of cheesecloth behind it so as I mentioned as well um, I have worked with paper bags I love working with paper bags I have a mini journal that I show you how to make from beginning to end I'll link that video below if you haven't seen it I love mini journals and I love the one with the paper bag um, I also have my clutch um, ephemera holder purses I recently shared that video so I'll link that below if you haven't seen it uh, plus some you know kind of other um, I guess they're snail mail little booklets that I've made as well I'll try and link all those below in the description box if you haven't seen those videos I just really enjoy working with paper bags I think it's for me it's all about the sound I think more than anything so anyway so here you just see that I've added the cheesecloth and now I'm just going to add this little piece to the top and of course you know you can decorate however you want but I just wanted to show you how I kind of decorated mine and um, you can kind of see how that's looking there I really truly do love this project and I can't wait to make lots more um, I do have a couple more tutorials to share with you coming up very soon so I'm looking forward to that and then I'm also working on some additional digitals for my shop which I'm so excited about okay so this piece here again a leftover little bit I'm just going to be gluing this on and you can see just how I kind of pre-cut pieces and leave them ready sometimes just for me to finish a project so that's something else that you know if you're not prepared for finishing something right away you can cut up your pieces ahead of time and then you've got one less step to do when you get back to your project right so here I'm just adding this to the back and I didn't want to add a pocket or anything to the front of the little um, the flip here because it's just the front one I didn't want to um, add a tuck spot or anything to that so I'm really liking how this one is turning out as well I think that's it for now my friends if you want to see me decorate more leave a comment below and let me know if I get enough interest then I'll continue I just don't want to make a whole video on you know finishing this project if there's not enough interest so leave a comment below don't forget to check the links to what I mentioned the digitals and thank you so much for joining me today I hope you make some thanks so much for stopping by and I'll see you next time